In today's video, I want to do a microphone shootout with this awesome Sony mic, the ECM B1M. But then you have like all these other YouTube microphones, like the DJI mic, uh, the NTG video mic, and then of course the 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 tried and true the Rode Micro. I mean. And they all come in different sizes, you know, like this one has a built-in battery, this one has a charging case, you gotta charge these, and, well, the NTG Micro just plug and play. But they all have different sounds, and the question is, which one are you looking for? So in this video, I'm gonna do a complete shootout of all these, both in a studio setting and outside in the real world and then we can come back here and discuss which one did I like better and which one you know maybe you might like better depending on your situation what's up guys if you're new here my name is Paul and I run a channel that inspires other creators that your future is whatever you make it I do that through gear reviews tutorials and today we're doing a good old-fashioned mic shootout so Let's get right into this video. Right now, I am on the NTG5. We probably need to be shooting out with some other of these mics. So let's just go with the first contender here, which probably everybody is super interested in, is the ECM B1M. I was very skeptical about this mic, but after using it a little bit, I kind of see the wonders that all these YouTubers are going for. And let's just let you shoot it out and hear it versus all these Rode microphones today. So let's slap this bad boy on there. And now we're here on the ECM B1M. Now, you're gonna notice that this microphone does pick up a little bit more room noise, especially compared to the NTG5 up here. And one thing that I had to do is I had to pull my microphone off like my tripod set up here and kind of bump it closer so now you can't see the table that I'm at. And I had to put a wider lens on. So right now I'm at uh, 17 millimeters here. And just so I can get the camera closer to me and try to match the framing somewhat. But because this microphone would sound kind of bad at a further away distance, and maybe I will test that too so you can hear what to expect in a studio setting, but you really want to be close to this microphone. I figured I'd do a test with the ECM like further away, like maybe uh, almost a two arm length away or an arm and a half length away. This is with my typical setup. This is the one where I was doing in the beginning of the video. I usually use my uh, NTG5 on, but I just want to do a quick test on the, how the distance affects the sound of this microphone. So this is the ECM B1M in a studio setting test one, two, and three. Now this is, like I said, studio setting close to the mic as I possibly probably would be, like I said, like about you know, two hand lengths away the microphone is. So this is what to expect out of that. Now with this same token, let's just go ahead and switch to these other microphones with this same setup here. And this is this the Rode NTG video mic. I use this mic as my daily driver for the longest time until I finally got this ECM mic. But uh, this is no slouch whatsoever. But let's switch over to the next mic. All right, now they were on the Rode Video Micro. And this is another popular YouTube microphone. It's a great starter mic for only 60 bucks. Comes with a little dead cat wind muff for recording out in the wind, unlike the Rode NTG where you gotta buy this separately. This also sounds very good for 60 bucks. Now let's try other, another on the go option, which you're not gonna get you're going to get some sound sacrifices, but it's a pretty cool microphone on the go and in the studio. So let's check it out, the DJI mic. And now here we are on the DJI mic. Now this thing is great because I can like literally like walk out of the frame, keep talking, you're still going to hear me, la 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 la, I can walk all the way around the room, you're still going to get the same amount of sound, whether I'm standing right in front of the camera, or I walk out of frame, or I move around in the shot, I'm still, you're still going to get the similar sound because it's like a lav, you know, and you can plug an external lav into this, it's awesome. So this is what that microphone sounds like, the DJI wireless system. Check one, two, and a three. So with that being said, let's take all of these out into the real world 
and we'll go ahead and do a, a, another microphone shootout with all these outside, you know? Let's get out of these four boring walls of my room and go to something a little bit more interesting. <laughs> All right. So this is the ECM in a live vlogging environment. I have this on a tripod right now, kind of right in front of me, and same distance from the studio, but this is like in a live outside door environment. So there's like a fountain going on behind me, and there's just birds chirping in the background. There's all kinds of things going on here. So this kind of gives you an idea of what this would sound like in a live environment. The other cool thing about this thing is it has three different modes. It has a regular shotgun mode that's like right in front of you, and then it has like an omni mode. The other microphones don't have this, so you can't really compare it to this, but I'm gonna go into the omni mode. So what I'm gonna do is walk around behind the microphone and turn on omni mode. So you can see I'm walking around the side. You can see how it's rejecting the noise. And I'm right behind the microphone, but now let's see when I, what happens when I switch it to Omni mode right here. Now I'm behind the microphone. You can kind of see how it sounds. I'm kind of walking around, walking around, walking around the side. And now I'm right back here. You know, it does take away from the sound a little bit and it doesn't sound nearly as full, but you can at least get a clear, you can do this is great for like walking around the microphone or being behind it, maybe in filming and showing what you want without having to like, take a microphone off and point it towards you, you can just leave this microphone on right, right now and behind it. So that's a really cool feature. Now let's go with this noise canceling and see what that sounds like. So the noise canceling is just now turned on. So this is behind the microphone in auto mode, omnidirectional with noise canceling. See what it sounds like in this live environment. All right, now I'm back in front of the microphone with the noise canceling going on with the live mode. So this is kind of what you can expect from a live situation. Now let's switch Back to the non-noise canceling mode, just so you can do a, a quick test. All right, so this is the ECM back regular shotgun mode with uh, no noise canceling on to make it kind of fair for all the other microphones. And we'll switch over to this one, uh, the Rode NTG video mic next. All right, here and we're now back with the Rode NTG video mic. So this is what it sounds like in a live setting. I have the uh, wind muff on the top of it so you can kind of neglect some of the minor wind that's coming on. What does this sound like to you? Do you like the way it sounds better? Let's uh, switch it out. This is the uh, NTG video mic, one, two, three, four, five. Now let's switch it over to the micro and see what that sounds like. And this is the Rode Video Micro with the same settings uh, as before in the studio at uh, 12. So uh, this is what that you can expect to hear outside. Like I said, there's noise going on all around. This is just a test for you. See what it sounds like in a live and vlogging type environment. M Rode Video Micro test one, two, three. And this is a test with the uh, DJI wireless mic. So you can see now that uh, it probably doesn't sound nearly as good. But the thing about this thing is I can walk all the way over here. I can walk all the way over here. And it all sounds the same. So I can even walk out of frame and talk behind the camera right now. And I can discuss, ooh, look at these nice little ducks that are swimming across the lake. Look at that pond. Oh, there's somebody out there that's even uh, doing a little, uh, the, the swan boats or whatever. And you can, you can see this. Uh, this is, I'm right behind the camera and I, there's no distinct difference in the audio. I can come out of here, walk in front of the camera again and just talk away and you're gonna get the same levels no matter where I stand, which is really the nice thing about these lav. Um, this concludes pretty much all the microphones uh, outdoors, but I do have one extra thing that I'm gonna do right now, just, just for fun and giggles. You're never gonna use this for vlogging, but it's a pretty cool setup nonetheless. And because you got to hear this setup inside the studio when I originally started the video, I wanted to bring this outdoors and give you a, a taste of what the NTG5 sounds like going into the Sony K3M. Uh, I usually just use this as a studio setup, but it is a very great like run and gun setup for like documentaries and other stuff where you really need that good crisp audio. And I'm just putting it literally on the hot shoe and snapping the microphone in and I'll have a little some b-roll of what that looks like out here but it's a pretty cool setup it's not actually too much heavier it's it's, it's a little bit heavier let's, to be honest but 
you're getting like amazing quality. So if you do buy like the K3M module for your inside studio use, you can always use it on the go too. All right, so this is like vlogging with the ECM B1M. There is a little bit of wind coming from this direction. And you know, it's, you know, you can hear the environments. The, like I said, it's on auto mode, no noise cancellation. Just figured give you guys a great uh, example of what this sounds like, just the microphone itself, kind of what it picks up for the environment. And how's the hot shoe doing right now? I'm vlogging, walking normal speed, just like I would if I was vlogging for anything else. And you know, this just uh, is a great little setup. It's so light uh, and, and it doesn't have any cables. So this is a quick shootout of all those microphones. Man, I've been actually pretty impressed with some of them. And this little ECM is, is very much impressed me. I did not think it was gonna be able to hold up as close as it did to the Rode NTG mic. I mean, this Rode NTG mic sounds incredible. It holds up very well to the NTG5. If you haven't seen that video, I've done a shootout on that, but like, it, it does hold up very well, and uh, this is a very good bang for the buck. The, diff the, the these price difference between these two, though, if you have a Sony system, is really not that much. This is 250 this is 350 However, this does not include the wind muff, so this is going to cost you, like, I think it's like 40 bucks. I think it's like $39. So, you know, once you start spending that kind of money, then you're close to the, this, and this does come with its little wind muff. Uh, and there's no cables, it just goes straight in. That auto mode is clutch. It ha I have it on the K3M that I'm using right now, and it, I don't have to worry about levels. I just set it into auto mode, and I just go out and shoot. That's what I love about this. There is a little bit, I could hear that little, that everybody says the built-in shock mount of this does rattle a little bit, and it kind of does rattle a little bit, but I gotta give it to them, it, you can't hear it nearly as much as some people complain about it. So I'm willing to sacrifice on that for the convenience because I really couldn't hear it too much, if at all. I think I heard it only a few minor times, but that's because I was really, really, really listening for it. You might not have even heard it. But uh, the shock mount for obviously all the other ones, these Ryko mounts are just this uh, uh, the perfect design. But this is very compact and, and I'll, I'll take it. So uh, like I said, the auto mode, the omnidirectional mode is great. So you have the, the like the shotgun, the wider shotgun mode, and then the omni uh, for those three modes. This It's a great, great little buy. Um, everybody really raves about the DJI mics, and I guess for wireless, it does sound good. Um, but the thing about these is you, you just gotta EQ them and make them sound better. It's you don't realize how kind of bad they sound until you compare them to like shotguns, but like shotguns just sound so good. And then, you know, you go to one of those. One of the other trick for these microphones, if you're buying them, that the, the you can do, but you can't do with the ECM is all these have eighth inch cables that go out. So what I typically do before I had this nice NTG setup, I'd use this NTG5 and I would just uh, put it on a, on a mic stand and I just raise it all the way up till you can't see anymore. So I'd get it right here and pump it right out of the frame. And then you, I can get it really close to me, boom it right over my head, which is kind of what I'm doing right now with this NTG mic. And then you get great sounding audio and you just run an extension, eighth inch extension cable all the way down to your camera where you can't really do this with the ECM. You gotta, gotta stand at a distance and live with it or, uh, or get closer to it, which is what I did initially in the beginning of the video. So it's, they both, everything has its pluses and minuses. You gotta decide which one. And then if you're really on a strict budget, I mean, the micro did a pretty darn good job. It didn't sound, cleared the best of the three shotguns clearly but it, it did hold up its own and it for 60 bucks it comes with its own little wind muff and it's super small and you can sit it right on top of your camera there's just so many good options out there there's no reason why people should have terrible audio but these were th uh, great options for you these are uh, this is the sony mic is my new favorite and it held up to the road fairly well. I hope you like this little demo. You can, if you want to see more videos like this on my channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, do all the fun YouTube things. And you guys know that I will see you in the future. Little fella, little fella, you held up nicely. Little fella. Whoa. Oh, there she goes. Oh. Oh. It's cool. It's cool. It's a cool little mic. It's hard to get this thing on there. 
just leave it on. Bye.